Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the New Balance Teddy Santis Main USA 990V4 in the Marblehead and Vintage Indigo colorway. So this is one of four different shoes from Teddy Santis Season 3 in this Marblehead and Vintage Indigo colorway. It's a very dope color palette, and I gotta say, I think the V4 is the best in this colorway. I think the Marblehead and Vintage Indigo colorway is best executed on the 990V4 silhouette, and I'm really excited to get this in hand. As usual, I'll be doing a full overview of the shoe, as well as an on-feet look, as well as my thoughts and opinions on sizing, comfort, quality, and overall design of the shoe. Starting with the box, this V4 comes in the standard Teddy Santis Main USA box in a cream white color with a red NB logo, as well as Main USA branding around the box. Starting with the toe box of the shoe, the mugguard of the shoe is made out of Marblehead Harry Suede, and in the very middle of the toe box, you get some cream white mesh, and surrounding the toe box are some panels of vintage indigo nubuck and at the very bottom of the toe box there's a small panel of silver 3m reflective and at the top of the toe box that connects to the lace outlets are more panels of marblehead hairy suede moving towards the middle of the shoe you get more panels of the marblehead hairy suede more panels of the vintage indigo nubuck the lace outlets of the shoes are also made out of that marblehead hairy suede the top lace outlets are made out of a light gray tpu plastic and in the very middle of the shoe you get the new balance N logo in vintage indigo with a white border in a 3M reflective material. Moving on towards the ankle area of the shoe, you get more panels of the hairy marblehead suede, more panels of the vintage indigo nubuck, as well as more panels of the cream white mesh. And you also have 990 branding printed on in silver near the back. Moving towards the very back of the shoe, starting at the top, you get a small panel of tan suede. In the very middle, you get a panel of vintage indigo nubuck with the New Balance M be badge in red and silver as well as a big panel of Marblehead Harry suede and at the very bottom you get a vintage indigo TPU heel clip with the New Balance spell out in gray. And the medial side of the shoe is the same as the lateral side of the shoe in terms of color and materials. The shoes come with a set of flat white laces and a set of flat vintage indigo laces. I opted to go with the vintage indigo laces to give it more of a contrast and those laces weave on top of a cream white mesh tongue. In the very middle of the tongue, you get a panel of gray synthetic leather with 990v4 branding printed on in red, as well as the 990v4's New Balance Main USA badge in silver and black. And the back of the tongue and the ankle area of the shoe are lined in a white mesh material. The shoes come with a standard foam insole, and the insole is lined in a cream white textile, and it also has New Balance branding printed on in vintage indigo. The midsole of the shoe consists of both white and cream white foams, and the v4 features New Balance's signature end cap technology. End cap consists of a stiff polyurethane heel cradle with a soft EVA core in the heel to give the user a great combination of both firmness and softness on feet. And finally, moving on towards the outsole of the shoe, you get the standard 990v4 outsole in black and cream white rubbers, as well as some silver plastic in the very middle. So now that the overview of the shoes out of the way, I'll lace these up and I'll show you how they look on feet. So for sizing, the Teddy Santis 990v4 in the Marblehead and Indigo colorway fits like every other 990v4 for me, and I recommend going down half a size. I'm a true size 9.5, and, and I got these in a size 9, and they fit me well. But as I always say, if you have the chance to try these on before you buy them, I definitely recommend you do that since everyone's feet are different, and despite these being a 990v4, these do not come in wider or narrower widths. For my 3-factor comfort rating for the New Balance 990v4, I give it a 6 out of 10 for softness, a 6 out of 10 for firmness, and an 8 out of 10 for midsole shape and support. I think the V4 is a very comfortable shoe. You get a great combination of both softness and firmness, not too overly soft or squishy on feet, nor is it too overly firm or stiff on feet, and the midsole shape is excellent and supportive for your feet. Your feet will definitely not get tired with these on all day long, and you can even run in them. For quality, I was definitely satisfied given the context of the shoe. This is an over $200 made 
Made in USA shoe from Teddy Santis, and uh, I had no craftsmanship issues. The hairy suede utilized on these were excellent. The new bucks felt great. The meshes also felt great. It definitely has the quality warranting the price. Overall, I'm really satisfied with my pickup of the Marblehead and Indigo V4. As I said in the beginning of the video, in the four pack of shoes, I think the V4 looks the best in this colorway, and the V4 isn't even my favorite silhouette from the four. I think this year's grade eight is excellent with these four Made in USA shoes, plus the classic gray 998s and 996s, as well as the non Made in USA grade A pairs. I think it's going to be a rock solid grade A, and I'm definitely looking forward to more season three pairs. So that's going to do it for this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Follow me on my socials. Check out the Intelligent site for more New Balance content and guides. If you really love the video, please consider leaving a super thanks in the tip jar below. And thanks for watching.